I'm Steve from Napier and we specialise in making gun cleaning and gun care products. And in this session we'll be talking about cleaning full bore rifle. As with all guns, the first thing we do is make sure that it's safe and is unloaded. Then, as far as we can, we try and remove everything that's not the gun. That means taking off the bipod, the moderator, the scope if you can, certainly slings and swivels to make the gun cleaning job easier. Obviously the bolt should be removed of course as well. We then start by cleaning it by initially spraying gun cleaner lubricant down into the barrel. That is the first thing we do because that can then be doing its job while we're doing everything else. And now we leave that preferably standing on something where it can drain. A 35 second to a two minute dwell time is perfect because that helps to soften the fouling and makes the removal much quicker. Right, now we sprayed the gun with gun cleaner lubricant and we can clean it in many different ways. The conventional way, as I said, is using a brush and a mop. And with Napier, we have a product called Rifle Clean, which makes the need for a jag irrelevant. What we can do is to brush the barrels out in the conventional way, everybody knows how to do that. And then, by applying a little bit of Rifle Clean to the actual brush itself, this material is forced down the barrel and into the rifling and takes the place of a conventional jag and it cleans exceptionally well, removing all the fouling. All we then do is throw away the fouled piece of rifle clean and with 14 meters in a box and that much per 308 use. That's a lot of, lot of applications. But today, I'll specifically talk about our latest version, which is using a new product altogether called Ultra Clean. It doesn't require a brush, it doesn't require a mop, but we have a special fabric called Ultra Clean, which is rough on one side and smooth on the other. And by putting this down the barrel as directed in the instructions, and it can do anything from 1.7 HMR right up to 50 cal. Each kit, by the way, comes with a gun cleaner lubricant that we've just sprayed down it. In this case, it's a 100 mil version. And it is really simple indeed. Follow the instructions in each pack. It tells you precisely how it's done. And the key to it is this rifle pull through loop. Okay, now the next stage is to introduce the cleaning cable through the barrel of the gun. Obviously that needs to be done with the gun vertical. We have to thread carefully this soft loop down through the barrel so we can easily attach the cleaning patches. These are Dacron bonded and the appropriate number that you use for each caliber is obviously stated in the instructions. Okay, at this stage we then carefully pull the patches back through the barrel and guide them gently into the bore and then in one fluid action pull them through the barrel. We repeat that process three or four times until the patches emerge from the barrel clean and eventually when we get to the stage after about three pulls we get it to as clean as that stage. We can then, as far as I'm concerned, consider that barrel to be clean on the inside. All we're going to do now is to clean the outside of the gun and it's very easy because the kit contains field patches we're pre-impregnated with 2 mil of Napier gun oil um, and they can be bought by the way in packs of 10 afterwards when they run out and these are magic because they're always ready to go and you've got sufficient there to clean all of the outside of the gun, wipe over all aspects of it, clean inside the trigger mechanism in the action and don't forget of course when you finish cleaning all of the gun and oiling it that we must pay attention to make sure that the bolt is nicely cleaned and lubricated before it goes back. Job's done, we're now ready to reassemble the gun, but before we do, there's one little devil that we've got to deal with and that's the moderator, because these things have a nasty habit of rusting out if they're left and neglected. So what we'll do here is a tiny, tiny amount, just a breath of spray down into the baffles of Napier gun oil. That will totally prevent it from corroding because the VCIs will see to that. And then before we put it back on the gun, I always like to add a tiny, tiny smear of gun grease just to the start of the threads. And when it's screwed back on, it means that when you want to remove it again at some time in the future, it hasn't welded on, it hasn't rusted on, and everything's good to go. Make sure it's tight before you fire the gun and obviously be sure that you've removed any obstructions again before you use it.